Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Friend the Machine, and today guys I've got you in another episode of how to get a nuclear medal in every single map, and of course Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and today guys, we're going to be rocking out the episode number 5. Now today what I'm liking about this gameplay in the background is the fact it's fresh, and I'm not saying that metaphorically as if to say, oh aquarium has got a lot of water, they might have showered, I'm saying that as if to say I got this gameplay literally around an hour ago, so everything I did in the gameplay in the background, it's roughly in my head imprinted of what I want to tell you guys on how I did this today, because I was actually going for aquarium and evac at the same time but obviously I managed to pull this one out of the bag so anyways without any further ado this streak is kind of fast at the start but then obviously it slows down with the tactics I'm going to tell you guys today about aquarium and why I implemented these features so without any further ado with the gameplay in the background being relatively fast I guess we're going to get into this right now about the gun to use on this map and I've seen a lot of variety of guns do well on this map pistols like the LK9 even shotguns even SMGs especially because obviously there's mainly medium range engagements there's never really moderate range engagements so if you can use a gun that's really good at close range and it has a lot of ADS in it or it's really powerful anyways like a shotgun at close range you're definitely going to do good on this map so the gun overall I'd recommend to use on this map for anyone is an SMG because obviously you can ADS a lot with that more than you would with an assault rifle with stock and obviously that's what you want to be doing in gunfights to actually win them as one of the main factors affecting if you win that gunfight or not so anything like the CUDA or like the Pharaoh or anything are really good guns for this map especially even this gun in the background I class this as kind of like a hybrid between an assault rifle and an SMG and if you guys want to see the class setup here it is on screen right now and if you're wondering why I'm using this class setup in nearly every episode I don't really like to switch much in this series just to show you guys that it's not really about the guns I'm using it's about the insanely good tactics that I'm using on these maps to actually outsmart everybody and do well and get the power positions and obviously you know win the gunfights easier and rack up the kills faster and easier in these popular positions so here's the class setup that I will be using pretty much every episode if not most episodes and I obviously will be playing a non objective based game mode besides the kills because that's what we're doing at the end of the day learning the map not any particular game mode that affects the map like the spawns or anything fluctuating or if you can trap anyone because that obviously isn't learning the map in itself and I feel like obviously since we're getting a nuclear medal we're focusing on the kills in itself so we don't really need to worry about objectives and that's why I'm either going to be playing team deathmatch or free for all only in this series so anyways enough jibber jabber about anything else other than aquarium we're going to get straight into talking about this right now and right now we're good timing because I believe the spot I've just entered is the most dominant spot on the map and controls everywhere and all the kind of flow of the map and how every everything works on it so as you can see right here there's a head glitch right in front of me where I'm shooting this like I don't know this scythe guy or whatever he's got on psychosis or scythe rocking I believe those two head glitches right there where you can turn around where I'm at now and obviously head glitch people out of here and bearing in mind they do have a head glitch advantage on you near that fish but I feel like obviously since you have a head glitch there and a head glitch behind you it's a really dominant spot especially for something like aquarium where there's a lot of walls and stuff and it's kind of a tight space map even though there's obviously sections where you can swim and stuff and you can wall run with a new movement system and stuff and thrust jump but definitely around the area of the map it's a definite good spot and it's a definite dominant spot so I feel like when I'm not trying to like navigate myself round to that area I'm obviously running around the edges of the map trying to do so in itself and that's what you need to do in mainly every Call of Duty to get on a good streak stick to the edges of the map or control the spawns but in this case there isn't really any specific spawn areas because they're constantly fluctuating in team deathmatch which I'm illustrating to you in the gameplay in the background so it's not exactly like I can say oh yeah control this flag control that flag all I'm going to say is stay out of the uh, center of attention because as you can see sometimes a lot of people are coming through the corridor next to it in like the bookstore or whatever it is and it's that shelf in the middle where you can kind of go two ways around it you can go one way or another and a lot of people are coming through there with shotguns and everything so you generally want to stick a little bit back and not really camp but I'm just going to say to you guys don't really push them because once you've got your hater and like in the gameplay in the background where in the case that I'm winning you don't need to push what reason have you got to push besides the fact you might be wanting to get some clips but obviously in the series we're not going for road to clips or anything we're teaching you guys how to get a nuclear medal the best we can over here on carnage on my personal channel and if you're on carnage right now my channel will be the first link in the video description down below so if you want early updates on this series obviously i upload them all to my personal channel first so come subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate all of you guys that is the nuclear medal right there it comes up kind of late for some reason but the way to start out on this map on any game mode i'm going to give you guys a pro tip right now is take advantage of the waters closest to you so what i like to do there is i like to jump into water and obviously you need to have good eyesight out bearing in mind so if you don't have very good eyesight then obviously the water is really murky on this map but I feel like controlling the water in itself is a really kind of dominant thing because a lot of people are fascinated by like the swimming feature in Black Ops 3 or Call of Duty or any game to be honest and holding your gun at the same time so when I'm in a gunfight underwater I generally find it a lot easier to actually master that gunfight and then obviously you can look out of the water and see if anybody's kind of warring above you or jumping above you and you can take them people out especially with a suppressor it's really 
really effective and obviously everybody doesn't have the best eyesight in the world looking into the water either to see you so take advantage of the water, stick to them head glitch spots and try to stay out of the middle of the map and any centre of attention where you think there might be explosives, a shotgun guy or anything like that and that's all I've got to tell you guys for today's tips video on how to get a nuclear on every single map but obviously in this case for this episode we're doing aquarium so thank you all for joining me in this video and if you enjoyed make sure you're slapping a fat like on that video down below or if it helped you in any way shape or form whatever channel you're on whether it be Carnage Clan or my personal one The Friendly Machine so today guys I'm going to be signing off right now and the only thing I want to say before I do so is what map would you guys like to see next most of all what you're struggling with I generally want to see a comment with a lot of thumbs up or the most thumbs up on a map that we haven't done yet in the series so thank you all for watching I love all your faces as usual peace out